notebooks today. You're going to turn to, in your reading notebook, your figurative language notes that you took yesterday. So you watched two Ed Puzzles. One introduced four different figurative languages and then one focused on just similes and metaphors. Today we're going to focus more on simile and metaphor. So get those notebooks out so we can add to them. lots of good notes if you want to share yours on updates you can do that but right now we're going to talk about figurative language and what is it exactly so figurative language writers use quite often why do you think they would use something like figurative language she talked a little bit about it in that first we should have watched the one first the first video hmm why would writers want to use figurative language What does it do? What is figurative language? Tell me what you learned from that Ed Puzzle. What is it, Nick? It's like, is it like drop? It's like better things, like better way to use words. Good. Better way to describe things, right? Yeah. So it's a more interesting way to use, to use words or describe something. Good. What else can you tell me about figurative language? What else does it do? Sean, what are you thinking? So it's not necessarily that it's not true, but it's maybe an exaggeration, right? Or again, kind of an interesting way of saying things where it's not actually going to happen, but yeah. it kind of exaggerates what you want the reader to know or understand. All right, good. June. Good. So it's beyond that literal meaning, beyond those facts, right? Beyond kind of maybe what the word is actually meaning. Okay, so figurative language adds to a writing, right? It enhances the writing, makes things more interesting, more descriptive. Sometimes they can be downright silly, right? Some can be confusing, and we're like, what does that even mean? What is happening? Or sometimes you're laughing, you're like, oh, that's just picturing it in your mind, like raining cats and dogs. That looks pretty funny, doesn't it? Okay. All right, so let's look at simile. So in your notebook, I want you to find where you wrote simile down. Okay, we're going to write down, or I'm going to put a definition up here and some examples. We're going to talk about what they mean. If you don't have a definition or samples for simile, you need to write it down. We're going to go over simile and metaphor today. So a simile is a comparison. It uses the words like or as. So if you don't see those two words within that phrase or sentence, it's not a simile. Okay, but it is a comparison. What does it mean to be a comparison? What's that word mean? Maya? It's comparing Say that one more time. It's comparing two or more things. Right, it's comparing two or more things. We're trying to figure out how they're similar. Okay, or maybe how they're different. In this case, how they're similar. If we're comparing them, it's how they're similar. Okay, let's look at some. If you didn't write some examples down, I would pick a couple of these to write down, okay? So here we go. She was as pretty as a peacock. What does that mean? what a, a peacock looks like pretty fancy looking bird right with all the colorful feathers behind it so what does that mean to be as pretty as a peacock what's that mean Riker okay could 
say maybe she's colorful. What else can we say? Juliana? Okay, she's just very pretty, right? They're kind of accentuating the fact that she's beautiful and so is this particular animal. He is as fast as a rabbit. So is he slow? No. No. He's fast, right? Rabbits are pretty quick, aren't they? I'm slow. Okay, so we're comparing it to a rabbit and how fast he is. She is as happy as a clam. Now that one might sound kind of confusing, right? Clams aren't happy. They're in the shelf for over Right? So that might seem kind of kind of weird, kind of confusing, but what are they trying to say if you're saying she's as happy as a clam? Eli? She's depressed. No, she's as happy as a clam. What is Nick? Really yeah, so they're just trying to emphasize again, really happy, okay? I know, that's the confusing one. As light as a feather. This one's not confusing. As light as a feather. What do you think about that one? I say that one all the time. <laughs> a lot of people use that one all the time. John? Right, so it's very light, right? If it's light as a feather, it's very light. I have an example. Okay. Hands down, I'm not taking examples. You're taking one from here. As slow as a snail. Oh, we went from as fast as a rabbit to as slow as a snail. Now how slow are they? Like really, like really slow, right? Okay. That's me. Oh, we've got as cool as a cucumber. What do you think about that one? If you're as cool as a cucumber, Juliana, how are you? Um, cucumbers can be cold because they're probably being kept in the fridge, but what does it mean that you're cool as a cucumber? Remember, these are figurative languages, so they're not necessarily meaning, they're similes that are a type of figurative language. They're not literally meaning you're cold like a cucumber. What are they meaning? What is it meaning, Maya? You're really cool. Yeah, you're really cool, right? You're cool, you're chill, you're relaxed. Okay, it's not meaning you're cold, like a cucumber is cold, okay? Its meaning is a little different. All right, are we getting these, Josh? You writing something down? Yeah. Okay, Sean, question. This one just happened to not use like very often. Yeah, I don't have too many examples with the word like, which I should have put some in there. So that would be right. So you're saying your brother is like a wrecking ball, which means what? What's that mean? Um, he destroys everything. He destroys everything. So another saying that's similar to be a bull, like a bull, or bull in a china shop, right? That means you come through and you destroy everything. What's another example? Give me some more similes. Maybe that you wrote them down. Maybe you just know them. Canyon. Ooh, what's that mean? He's a ch like a cheetah at dinner time. Okay, he's fast. Yep. Nick. Ah, uh, no. We don't need other conversations right now. Riker. Nick, raising our hands, please. Nick. An example of a simile. So we're comparing two things using like or as. It's what? Okay, you can say it's as colorful as a rainbow or it's colorful like a rainbow. Sure, and that means it's very colorful, right? Okay, good. Whatever it is we're talking about. So similes, comparisons using these two words. So if I don't see like or as, but I'm still comparing something, then it's a metaphor. So a metaphor is another type of comparison, but it doesn't use these words. Okay, normally it's just gonna say it is something. So like this one, or was here because it works. My dad was a bear this morning. What does it mean to say your dad was a bear? What does that mean, John? He's kinda angry. <laughs> yeah, he might have been kinda angry, right? Or upset about something. My room is a pigsty. Ooh, oh, that's my dad. what does that mean, Brendan? What about it? It's messy, so right? Everything Pretty that messy. I own is a pig sty. How about music is the doctor for what heals our soul? What does that mean? Oh, Sean? And it makes me happy. Yeah, 
music might make you feel better, right? It might make you feel good. How about this one? The garden was a jungle of weeds. Hmm. We don't want our garden a jungle of weeds. What does that mean, Adam? Yeah, probably the weeds were kind of taking over, right? We and couldn't really see the, the stuff we needed anymore. The weeds yeah, were taking the, over. The My grandpa is an early bird. Mm. Ooh. What does that mean about grandpa, Ioana? He wakes up early, right? He gets up early before everybody else. All right. Let's get some examples of metaphors. Brendan? Your mother is a mystery. What does that mean? Okay. So maybe she might be hard to understand or figure out sometimes. She's doing new things all the time. Another metaphor, Riker? Yep. So we're going to compare something, but we're not going to use like or as. Something is this. Something was that. Do you have one, Canyon? No, that's a different kind of figurative language. Who let the cat out of the bag? So you're revealing a secret. It's a different one. Riker? She was as sharp as a pen. She was as sharp as a pen or a tack. So I'm using the words as in there, which makes it a, a simile. What does that mean, though? That's a simile. What does it mean to be sharp as a tack? Nick? Your what? Mm, what does it mean, though? Like you're I need a different word besides sharp. Because like, I'm not sharp like a knife, Ooh. right? That's not. It's not meaning that kind of sharp. I know. It's meaning I'm sharp as a tack, which means what, Ioana? Right. It means you're smart. Okay. If somebody says, "Oh, you're sharp as a tack," they're saying, "Oh, you're smart." That was a good answer. That you have to go to school. That's the only reason we're like bears, huh? <laughs> That's true. My, my daughter is definitely a bear in the morning, but she likes going to school. My son, however, not so much. That's true. That's what she likes. She likes being with her friends. So, all right. Other metaphors or similes? Or questions? Sean? That's a simile. Um, Canyon had mentioned letting the cat out of the bag. Is that what you're talking about? That's not a simile. That's meaning you let the secret out and you weren't supposed to kind of thing. But that's not a simile. That's not comparing things. Like or as. Okay. All right. Um, what does it mean if I say... Mm, I had one. Nick, go ahead. What? Oh, you're raising your hand. I haven't asked a question yet. What? Is that what happened? What? You raised your hand, and I didn't even ask a question yeah, yet. The What's the answer? If there's a question, I don't know. Put your <laughs> hand down. I didn't ask a question yet. <laughs> what does it mean if I say I'm hungry as a horse? Oh, oh look at all those hands. Ava? Yeah, it means I'm really hungry, right? Oh, I'm starving. What if I say I'm cunning as a fox? Ooh, what does cunning mean? Oh, or sly as a fox? What does that mean? John? Sneaky, exactly. Um, let's see if I can find, find another metaphor. What does it mean if I say my blanket is a fluffy cloud? Oh, Josh? Yes, it's soft, it's comfortable, right? All right, good. 
Other questions on metaphors or similes? Sean, you have a question? Um, do you actually have to feed horses a lot? Yeah. I don't anymore because I don't have horses. Mrs. Bush probably does, though. They, eat a lot? they do. They eat a lot. I don't know about that. They don't eat humans. Every hour? They're constantly eating grass. Hey. All right. If you think of another metaphor or simile to share, you can post those on updates. Today, let me get out of this. Wait, what about, what about hyperboles? Not, we're not doing those today. We're going to do hyperboles and personification tomorrow. Well, write it down so you don't forget it. I can't say that I need reading today. You have down here. Ready? I need eyes up here. Figurative language folder I added down here at the bottom. Yellow folder. In there, you will find a metaphor simile worksheet. Whoops. Nothing to grade because we haven't done it yet. Questions? So there they are. Okay. There's a matching one. There's multiple choice. This one up here is matching. You're deciding if it's a simile or a metaphor. So that's your reading assignment for today.